from Parts Unknown. I'm Mr. Hartgrave, and this video is going to show you how to get a full set of Gyros armor and how to beat a Toby Kadachi, or just show you what kind of weirdo I am. I'm not really sure. You see, I put out this kind of first impression video on Monster Hunter Now, and it actually got pretty good views for that kind of video on this channel. And I've decided to go ahead and just shoot a follow-up show you what I'm doing, show you where I'm at, and and test out some technology. I haven't recorded footage this way, so this is a bit experimental. Bear with my technical difficulties as I go through this. I'm learning if I make another one of these, the quality will be higher. So make sure you like and make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel for some reason, if this has drawn you in, if you're a fan of Monster Hunter now. Um, I don't know where we're going with this, you know, but if these videos continue to do well on this channel, then I will continue to release these videos as long as I continue to play the game. Um, the game is very fun. I'm having a good time with Monster Hunter now. I stand by everything I said in my first impressions video. If you want to check that out, if you haven't checked it out, I encourage you to. It's got a lot of my thoughts. I played this game during the beta for like a good two, three weeks, maybe even four weeks. I don't know. It was a long time. And I've been a longtime fan of Monster Hunter, and uh, I played Pokemon Go pretty hardcore. I mean, I went out in rainstorms and hailstorms and stuff and did all kinds of crazy things. I'd like to capture those things on video if I'm going through that with Monster Hunter now. But uh, like I said, technical difficulties and stuff, and that's why I'm doing the video this way. And so here's what I got. We're over here. This is my gameplay capture, and I'm going to play through it, and I'm going to kind of narrate what's going on as I look to complete a full set of Gyros armor. Um, let's go ahead and start the footage rolling while I babble on here. So there I am and I'm setting off on my quest today and I'm looking for Gyros and I've got a couple on my map there so I know where I'm headed. And I also have a quest here to slay a Pookie Pookie and do a couple other things. I've already done my daily quest for the day so I'm going to keep an eye out for those poisonous pricks as well as I go through this. But my main goal here is to finish up my Gyro set of armor. This is the first set of armor that you really want to complete. You can go ahead and grab as many sets of armor as you want. Like right now, the only weapon worth working on is Jagoras Edge, by the way. Just all the way Jagoras Edge. So like, if you see a Jagoras, kill a Jagoras. You're going to watch me prioritize that as I go through this hunt. If I see any Jagoras, I'm taking them out. Because we're going to be increasing that Jagoras Edge to extreme levels as we go. It's... As far as I found in my time with the game for the first month is going to be, or at least the first couple of weeks, depending on how hardcore you're playing it, that's going to be the most important weapon in your entire arsenal is the Jagoras Edge because of its water damage. There's uh, most of your beginner monsters, and they rebalance the game this way as well. I noticed like early on in beta, maybe I shouldn't be saying it, but I thought it was a good change. A lot of the... Um, weaknesses include didn't include water and they brought water in i guess almost to make just it easy an easier learning curve i don't know if that's still the case we're going to have to examine the monsters as we unlock them to see what actually is the best element to be using right now um but it, it was water in my experience it was the jagras edge that got you the most kind of bang for your buck uh having a lightning element weapon is good as well uh, we're going to see, and fire is good too, but we're going to see that as we go uh, with the Toby Kadachi. That's going to be later on in this video. I'm going to show you how to beat a Toby Kadachi, and that's going to unlock all those lightning weapons and Toby Kadachi armor. I'll give you a little preview of that as well. But okay, the main thing I want to do is get the Gyros armor because when you're starting off, none of the ar I wouldn't waste any materials or spend time farming to upgrade armor until you get the Gyros armor. And I wouldn't upgrade the Gyros armor. That's a mistake that I made when I played during the beta. I was getting hung up. Um, I, I was getting hung up, like, upgrading the Gyros armor. I like it so much. I mean, obviously, I'm a big fan of the look, but I wasted so many materials um, farming the Gyros armor that uh, I could have just progressed the game faster. I could have up been upgrading better armor with better skills on it. The Gyros armor does not have great skills on it. I'm going to show the skills later on in this video. And, uh, and it's not that strong. 
All the new armor as you go is going to be stronger than the last armor, but the Gyros armor, the reason why that's a good set to get a full set of like early on is it is a significant upgrade from every piece of armor that you've found that you've been able to craft up until this point. So up until this point, you've had access to a few different things. And uh, yeah, there it is. So that's what I'm looking like now. I need the waist piece and I need the legs. So I need to find two Gyros hoods. That's the rear piece uh, of the Gyros that I need to collect is the hood. So I've got to kill Gyros until I get a hood. Find out if I'm able to do it in this video. This is my first Gyros in this video. We're going to go ahead and hunt it here. You're going to see one of uh, my techniques here. So I run in. As soon as they turn red, I hit the special button. That is OP. Uh, if you're not doing that, do that. It's super, super good. And this is one of the things that makes the Sword and Shield so good is that the special is extremely overpowered on it. Um, I, I did not find that to be the case. Like Longsword like, takes like a crazy time to charge up because you have to like charge up the special, the spirit meter and the special meter like at the same time to be able to actually activate it. And it's just not as good. I, I don't know. I don't know. You guys let me know if you're playing with other weapons and really getting a kick out of them. But I just, I didn't find anything better than Sword and Shield. Now, as far as goals after this video, I know I'm really getting ahead of myself, but I want to say it before I forget it, is Gyros Armor, Unlock Toby Kadachi. I believe the next quest line after that is the Palamu, the big flying rat thing that is like a puffer fish or whatever. That was a really weird description of a creature, but it's pretty accurate. Um, that armor has some really good skills on it. And we'll talk about that in another video. If you're interested in my analysis of the Palamu set, let me know. And I can tell you that you're hearing a lot of wind noise and background noise. That's just me not knowing how to use my capture equipment. I've already adjusted those settings and they won't be in the next video going forward. So if I do another one of these, you won't hear all this wind and stuff. Me breathing, me tapping on the screen. I don't know what's going on here. We have another Gyros. So I'm hoping to get a Gyros hood from this Gyros. That's my big hope. So whenever I see, whenever I don't know if you know, like a brief tutorial, I didn't really get into this in my last video. If the creature flashes red, that means it's about to attack. So you just swipe to dodge. It's a really simple mechanic. And here you see me dodging poorly and getting hit. Uh, the game's so easy when it starts off. I didn't feel like doing a lot of like, here's how to play Monster Hunter now because it's really, really straightforward. Um, the, the special trick is pretty good, like having the fully charged up special when you come in. If you don't have special unlocked yet, just keep playing it. You will get that unlocked. Um, and here you go. I got a Gyros hood, so we're going to go ahead and upgrade our first piece of Gyros armor now, uh, or actually our fourth piece of Gyros armor now, because as you can see, I already have three of the pieces done. So let's go ahead and do the fourth piece. And there's my fourth piece of Gyros armor. And yeah, I would highly recommend as soon as you have access to this, farm this and unlock it. It costs you a little bit of Macolite ore, which can be used for a lot of other stuff, but it's common enough that it's not going to set you back, especially if you have access to a park like I'm at now that has a lot of mining spots. You can get a lot of iron ore and a lot of Macolite very quickly if you have access to something like that. It's going to depend on your side of the world. I don't know how good the global map is for Monster Hunter uh, now. But uh, here's the thing. I see another Gyros on the map. So let's head over there. Let's fight another Gyros. And oh, right now, I notice I'm sitting right next to a Pookie Pookie. So let's go ahead and kill him for our mainline quest. And I'm going through some poor network connection. I, I, some of the spots in my neighborhood are like dead zones. It really suck. So I had to move myself not only into a spot with good internet connection, but also a spot that um, was shaded. It was a little bright out today. And as you know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the sun. Uh, but here I am. There's a perfect dodge. If you haven't done one of those, now you know that's a thing you can do. Uh, if you dodge the moment they attack, you get a perfect dodge. You do extra damage. It's really super cool. There is a Pookie Pookie kill. Let's go ahead and move towards the next Gyros and see if we get another Gyros hood and uh, complete the full set. All right, we have found our third Gyros. I think this is actually our third Gyros. I don't know what I said just now, but this is our third Gyros that I, that I located. The first one we got no Gyros hood from. 
So I'm really hoping this one gives us a Gyros hood and so we can complete the set of armor and make all of my marketing around this accurate because I imagine that I'm going to put the full set on the thumbnail because it looks really cool and I like it. And I, I don't know, people are probably like, man, I wanna look cool in Monster Hunter now. And oh, that looks cool. I'd like to know how to unlock that. See, that's as much as I overthink this stuff when it comes to YouTube. I'm just like, if I would think it was cool, then I'll do it. I find that I, all the monsters are really easy to fight unless you have poor network connectivity and then they get even easier to fight actually because you get to like pause. I don't know, man. I like how this game makes you feel like you've invested a hundred hours in Monster Hunter. Because <laughs> to be this good at Monster Hunter, you have like real Monster Hunter, like on the console, you have to invest so many hours so it's very cool that it gives you the feeling of being an expert Monster Hunter player without having to play that much Monster Hunter. So I think it's really cool. I, I think that's what I like about it. Maybe that's what I was trying to vocalize in my, my first impressions of this when it comes to the combat is that's why I like it better. It's so much more accessible. And yeah, I know like the guys out there that have invested, you know, 500 hours in Monster Hunter like myself, maybe we get weird and like, only I should feel that way. But I think everybody should feel like a badass when they pick up Monster Hunter. And that's what you get to feel. All right, we have the full armor set unlocked. There it is. And I think I'm going to walk through here and show you the skills on it. Yeah, I'm going to be so kind as to do that. So you get paralysis resistance. That's basically useless. There's no point to it. Sneak attack is okay. You get extra damage when you attack the monster from behind. Earplugs are actually a much better skill. Now, earplugs can become invaluable in this game, but um, this set isn't going to get you like a really good level of earplugs. So like maybe you might work the Gyros gloves into a late, a very late game build that I never actually got to. Like literally it never happened. When I was first uh, playing this in beta, I was like, oh, earplugs, I know that's a good skill. Let me kind of upgrade these and keep up with these. But then like the set never happened. So it was pointless. I just wasted my time doing that. Um, like I said, there's some really good armor skills coming up on the Palamu set, but they're just really not here on the Gyro set. The base armor protection is what you're going to want from this set. That's the main thing. Sneak attacks, okay. Uh, paralysis attack, maybe. Um, and then, yeah, maybe you could get some extra paralysis attack out of this if you want to use a paralysis weapon, but I don't really see the point of it. Here, I'm actually going to skip the Kuleyaku and go for the Jagoras. Like I said, if you see a Jagoras, kill a Jagoras. The Jagoras Edge is an OP weapon for this game, if nothing else but for its ability to kill Anjanath. If you don't use the Jagoras Edge for anything else, Make sure you keep up with it and upgrade it so that you can easily kill Anjanant. That's going to come up later in your quest line. You're going to need to kill a whole bunch of them. And that weapon is going to come in just totally, totally useful for that. Okay, I'm about to hit a lot of really weird network issues. But let's go ahead and jump forward. I, th there's another Puke Puke up here. I kill it. I complete my quest. And then let's go get the Toby Kadachi. Okay, we finally worked through our network issues and now we're fighting the Toby Kadachi. So after you kill that second Puke Puke, this uh, event quest opens up and you can kill a Toby Kadachi. Now, I don't know whether it was my network issues or just luck, but this is like the easiest Toby Kadachi that I've ever taken down in like my entire life. Do I even hit the special? I don't even think I hit the special. He just kind of like, I guess I stun him out right here and then I break his legs. So that's what happens. I do enough damage where I stun him, I stagger him, and then I break his legs and he just isn't able to move. And he, he like did one attack towards me. So I don't know if you really needed a video to help you do this. But there it is. The Toby Kadachi is down and that's the uh, final urgent quest on chapter four. And that's going to move us towards chapter five, which is going to unlock the Palamu. And that'll be my next video. If you're curious about it, uh, make sure you, you know, like, and subscribe, ring bells and all that stuff. And who knows, maybe I'll even start up a second channel, a third channel. Oh my God, dude, I can't do a third channel. You guys are killing me. I'll just stop playing other games, you know, allegedly subject to change. So there it is. I believe I'm going to be kind enough to show you the set, give you a preview of it and the skills that are on it. I don't like the Toby Kadachi set. What I like for the Toby Kadachi is the Toby Kadachi longsword. 
I think the Toby Kadachi longsword is very, very cool and useful. It has lightning damage and it's very good against Wraithians later on. So that's what I might replicate here. But here's the helm and you get reload speed and artful dodger. It's, it's a set that lets you do better dodges. Um, it does evade extender. It, you can upgrade and you can increase your thunder damage with it. Um, I don't know. It's okay. There's Artful Dodger. It makes those perfect dodges easier to do. It makes your evades longer. I mean, it, those are cool skills. Like, don't get me wrong. Those are cool skills. I just find that they're not that useful. There's more useful skills on the Palamu set. Like I said, that'll be the next video. Let me know if you like this one. It's getting windy out here. I'm going to go ahead and pause this so we don't have to hear that. And uh, thank you for watching this. Let me know if you find it helpful. And Grave Diggers. Keep digging.